Hi everyone, welcome to Rathstone Official. It's Sunday and I want to make something very simple but still useful and informative. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to build a simple Python script that will help us to automatically log in, log in us on Facebook. And the code is actually less than 25 lines of code and it's very very beginner friendly. I'm going to go over every basic thing I do, every each and line of code. So even beginners would be able to follow along and let's get started. Just to check out the just to look at the text editor, we have VS Code and just feel free to use your own text editor. I also have a simple Python file called automate.py. So I'm going to get rid of that and simply we're going to get started. So I'm going to place it right here. So also before I get started, I want to simply say that you need two libraries or two simple exe files to actually get started with the video. So the first thing is called Gecko Driver. As I'm using Firefox and you have to download something called Gecko Driver which actually helps you to open Firefox automatically and just sort of communicate Python with Firefox. If you're using Chrome, make sure you drive download the Chrome driver. I have both of that link in the description. So once you download that, you simply want to extract that and you have a simple file like, file like this called Gecko Driver.exe. And once you download that, you simply extract that and then you have to go for the Python folder itself. So I'm going to go like that, open file location, open this location. And if you see right here, this is, we are inside the Python folder. It's called local programs, Python, Python 3.8 slash 32. So we are inside the folder. So once you're inside the folder, you basically want to paste your Gecko driver or Chrome driver, whatever browser you're using. Feel free to use whatever you want. It's going to work the same. And once you're done, you just have to paste here. Right now, as you guys can see, I've already pasted here right there, so I'm not going to do it again. All right. So even be, before we get started, we also need another simple, another simple library in Python called Selenium. So for that, you have a simple command to you want to get your pip and install pip install Selenium. It's a simple library which helps us to do some simple web, web automation with Python. I'm not going to go detail in Selenium, but make sure you just install Selenium. All right, guys. So once you're done installing it, we are good to go. So the first thing you want to do, we want to import our web driver. So we want to say from Selenium, which you downloaded right now, you want to basically import our web driver. All right. We also need to get sleep. So I'm going to say from time, I'm going to get import sleep. All right. So now actually let's begin coding out a program. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to create a class and I'm going to call this class Facebook login okay feel free to call it as whatever you want and once you created your class I'm, I'm going to define my initial function so I'm going to say define init okay and you want to have parentheses and inside that we have to pass self okay so if you're done JavaScript it's this in JavaScript all right, guys, so in this function, we simply want to automate some stuff. First of all, we have to get our web driver. So for that, I have to say, make sure you have self in the front, self dot driver dot is equals to web driver dot. And now you want to specify which web browser you're using. Now, remember, if you're using Chrome, you want to say CR. Chrome C capital and you want to see Chrome and you put a parenthesis like that or if you're using Firefox then use Firefox and just put parenthesis and make sure you have installed whatever your web browser's driver inside the Python folder. So once you're done with that guys we have to say driver whatever we created but make sure it's self dot driver okay so I want to say self dot driver dot get okay and inside this i basically want to pass the facebook url so i'm going to go to the brave you can work with as much as you want okay so even if it's brave or google it's fine as long as you have the firefox um, firefox drive installed i'm going to copy the facebook url i'm going to paste it up here all right and let's see. and what this command is going to do it's going to basically get your firefox and basically pass this url and open firefox with this url that's just a simple logic behind it. So let's call the function, okay, and let's run a file. So there's two ways you want to run ways of running the file. You can simply click on this one, 
or if you're in the same directory you want to say python automate.py so whatever whatever file name you've actually given all right so just click ok and it's going to basically take take a bit time in the first place to if your internet is pretty fast then which is open up as fast as it would so it's opened up and if you see basically we are inside our facebook page so that's what we want guys okay so i'm gonna get rid of that so now we know that's actually automating and it's working and now what we want to do we simply want to we're going to simply pass some keys i'll go through in the video so first of all we're going to have a simple code that will help us to input some email or phone number okay so if i show you the concept you simply have email or phone so you have to pass any email or phone uh in this case i'm going to pass an email and you're going to basically pass your password and then you want to be able to click this login button so that's what we're going to do automate this stuff in python so you want to say input email or phone and this is going to contain some code so in this case first you want to obviously say self dot driver you want to get your driver obviously because that's where your firefox is there your web browser is contained and say self dot driver dot you want to say find element by expat never ever click on find elements by expat that's plural it's going to be find element by expat because you'll obviously get an error if you're finding the elements we're going to basically find one element so make sure it's find element and it's singular all right i hope you get it and then i'm going to basically inside this we want to pass the expat so in order to get the expat you want to right click go to inspect or you just want to click on f12 i believe yeah f12 to talk your dev tools all right and now you know just don't care about the error that's nothing it's not error though it's just a simple sim simple annotation there all right guys so you want to click on this element selector and you want to simply go to email or phone right here and once that's as you guys can see it's selected just right click left click on there and right come here which is selected one i'm going to go come here copy and copy full expat now you can feel free if you want to copy the copy just the expat but both of them is just going to do the same thing and sometimes you have to copy the full expat in some of the points but i always copy the full expat because it's just going to do the same thing and i don't find any errors in it so just copy the expat and once you copy it just simply paste it in inside this within the quotes okay it should be a string and then you just, I'm just going to soft wrap it. And then once you pass the expat, we are basically going to send something what send something to that element inside the element. So we have we have a simple function called dot send keys. And inside that you have to pass what your phone number or the input, your email, whatever. So in this case, I'm going to pass Ratsudan1203 at gmail.com. So it's anyway, it's nice to pass something like this. But I actually want to get this information from the user itself. So I'm going to go right up here. Up here. I'm going to create a variable called email dash phone, which is equals to input. You want to get the user's input. I'm going to say enter email slash phone. Okay. So we want the we want the user to enter his email or phone, and then pass this email. And phone whatever we retrieve from there right here email slash phone so that's what we want and also we imported sleep right here forgot about that so you simply want to say sleep give it one second so what sleep is gonna just basically delay your program by one second it's just gonna pause your whole program for one second and then carry on carry out the next next command or code whatever so you want to obviously have this because at some point your program might sometime crash because you don't have sleep and it's gonna uh, run so much uh, i in fact i did a video on an instagram bot which we had this problem and we actually uh find it out because the sleep was actually not there so make sure you have it anyway link the whole code in the description so once you've done that we'll actually take a look where it's going to work so let's get a terminal this one at the pie so it's asking our emails like username so i'm going to say rather than one two three at gmail.com all right so it should take us to Firefox now it depends now if your internet is super fast it's gonna auto it's gonna do it it probably should be right now all right 
so now it's all loaded up it's gonna wait for like you know like a second right now and it's gonna input my email over here okay so as you guys can see it's automatically inputted rather than one two three at gmail.com okay now we want to reboot this process to again to the password as well right now so let me get rid of that and let's go back and in this case i'm gonna say this is basically gonna be for input password okay and now again just the same thing self dot driver dot find element by expat not find elements it's it's singular and now we want to get the expat so i'm going to copy right here now it, it's just definitely fine if you're if you're opening the program in firefox and you're grabbing the 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 expat in google it's completely fine because every uh, the code just it's just the same thing even if you grab it from firefox so if you've grabbed on firefox you're getting a different expat but still it's just the same it's no issue with that okay so i'm gonna go copy i'm gonna go copy full expat and inside the string i'm gonna pass it okay and inside that i'm gonna send some keys okay and for that we have to create another uh another variable called password so let's say password equals to the whatever input the user makes let's say let's say password like that okay and that's it okay and now i want to pass my password inside this so it should be password all right that's what we need and now we also need to pause the program for like a second let's run this again And now it's going to ask me the email so i'm just going to put my email right there and the password i'm just going to put some test one two three something like that because it doesn't really matter so let me just say some password and it should automatically open up my firefox all right so it's going to input my email right now and again with the second and there we go a password is basically right there test one two three and once that's done, we also want to wait for like a second or so and then simply click on this login button. Okay, that's what we want to do. All right, so let me get rid of Firefox. Okay, let's do it. And now it's just going to be the same thing. Okay, so it's going to simply, simply say, uh, click on login button. Okay, so in, in this case, you also want to do the same thing. I'm going to get self dot driver dot find element by expat and we want to grab the expat which is just get it and let's grab this one right here and i'm gonna go right here say copy copy full expat and i'm gonna paste it right there so this is for the login button and in this case we are not gonna send any keys to it we just want to make basically pass a click there okay Okay, so you just want to say dot click and you want to give a sleep of one second. All right, so now again, let's see, run the program again. So it's going to say enter email and put my email. Okay, so I'm going to just say put a random password right there. So I'm going to test 123. Because my password is wrong, it's not going to log me out. Uh, log me in but it will actually provide me an error and also it will take a click event right now so now it's gonna say email it's gonna say my email right now okay now password and then there we go it's automatically saying the login button and now it's auto it's gonna say I mean there we go the password the internet is incorrect so as I told right now so now I'm actually gonna input my actual password and show you guys how it's gonna work okay so you won't be able to see when i input my let me just clear it out so i'm going to input my actual password right now so i'm going to say just the same email address and my password i'm just going to type it out right now all right guys i've actually typed my password and i've just closed out my terminal and now it's opening up firefox automatically and it's gonna fill in the email or and the password and feel free to mess with the sleep the time pause but pause it's just gonna make 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 a bit of a pause between both of them and once if you see it right now we are automatically logged in to the facebook account 
So that's just it, guys. Simply it. That's all. Like you, you're just simply have uh, we, we, you're just able to log into your Facebook automatically now. Just to look at the code, it's just less than yeah, but just twenty six lines of code. So yes, guys, that's it for the video. As I said, I just wanted to make something very simple but still useful. Hope you guys just sort of learned something, learned simple how to work with drivers and everything. I also have the link for all of the files, the code and all the web drives we've talked about and some links to extra files and videos. So feel free to watch them and comment if you have any doubts. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will talk to you in the next video.